In this video lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the commonly used library methods in Java. As per the curriculum, we have to learn about the concat method, the length method, the substring method, the two lower met two lower case method, two upper case method, and the trim method. Okay, and uh, to demonstrate the use of these library methods what we have done is we have eight uh, JTEX fields and uh, the corresponding labels and one J button okay if you look at the coding part of the program we find that uh, what we have done is we have uh, three strings we have declared S1, S2 and S3 objects of the class string and one variable of uh, the class uh, of the data type int integer variable we have len in the first uh, line we are writing here that s1 equals to jtext field one dot get text means whatever has been input by the user in the first text field that needs to be extracted and assigned to s1 that is the first string and in the same fashion s2 will have the data extracted from the second jtext field okay in the next line we have written that s3 equals to s1 dot concat s2 we are using the concat method it is a library method which is used to concat the second string with the first string okay so in the first string we have one one uh, string input by the user and in the second string we have second uh, string input by the user so if we run this application let us see the effect of the concat method let us run the application we are just running it and uh, in the first name we are writing suppose kendriya vidyalaya v i d y a l a y a vidyalaya and the last name suppose we are writing is a f s kasoli and uh, after concat we are getting that Kendri Vidyalaya AFS Kasoli. Kendri Vidyalaya AFS Kasoli. The second string was AFS Kasoli and the first string was Kendri Vidyalaya. Okay, and uh, after the concat uh, method, we have Kendri Vidyalaya AFS Kasoli. Means second strings, string has been added to the first string and assigned to the third string that is J. Uh, this s3 s3 equal to this one if we write suppose we just let us uh, change it we are writing s2 s3 equal to s2 dot s1 and what what we what it will do is we are inputting the same string kendriya vidyalaya and a f s kasoli and see the effect you're writing KFS AFS Kasoli, then Kendri Vidyala means first string has been added to the second string and assigned to the S3. S3. Okay. And uh, in the next line, we have written that uh, whatever S2, uh, this S3 string contains that need to be assigned to the third text field. And uh, that is done in the third text field. Okay. If we count the length of the string so k e n d r i by a eight characters plus one space nine and v i d y a l a y a nine plus nine comes out to be eighteen so to calculate actually how many characters are the part of the string we have a library method and that method is known as the length method and uh, we use this length method with a string whose length is to be calculated so we want to find out the length of the string s1 so in the s1 we have written kendri vidyale as per uh, in our example we have input kendri vidyale so the length comes out to be 18 and that value is assigned to the alien variable integer variable that uh, we declared previously and uh, the value is assigned to the fourth text field okay now 
in this example in the next line we have written here the coding part we have jtext field 5 dot set text s3 dot substring so what is s3 s3 in our example is kendriya vidyalaya afs kasoli and we are passing two arguments here to the substring method 3 comma 12 what does it mean it means first three characters of the sub, uh, of the string uh, with which the substring method is being applied is being called r to be eliminated and it will go up to it will extract up to the character characters up to the 12th position we can say so if we start from kendri vidyale afs kasoli so first three k e n they will be eliminated so kendri vidyale afs kasoli in fact we have applied this wait 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 in fact we have applied this string on substring method on s3 object okay so s3 in s3 we have afs then space then kasoli kendriya then space vidyalaya okay so it will eliminate first three characters afs they are eliminated we are not getting afs then we have space space is extracted space means fourth position at the post fourth position we have space and uh, fifth position k a s a u l i and at the 12th position we have k so this much of string is extracted with the help of the substring method and uh, we can change it we can have in fact a single diamond a single uh, argument or the parameter to this substring method if we suppose we are writing 5 only so what does it mean it will eliminate the first five uh, uh, this uh, it will eliminate the first five uh, characters of the string and uh, remaining characters will be extracted so again if we run it if we run the same program and uh, writing here kendriya vidyalaya afs kasoli okay and uh, we find that from the first fifth uh, first uh, five characters are eliminated afs 3 1 space 4 and k they are eliminated and the remaining characters of the string they are extracted with the help of the substring methods so there are two ways to use the substring library method we can pass two parameters say start uh, where we we shall indicate that the first uh, or the last position of the string substring that we want to extract and uh, if we pass a single argument then it will el eliminate the mentioned number of characters and the remaining characters of the string they will be extracted okay then we have two lower method two lower case method as well as the two upper case method these two methods for example the two lower case method is used to convert a string into lower case and the two upper case method is used to convert a string to upper case so we have applied the two lower case method as well as the two upper case method with the the string s1 and in the string s1 we have kendriya vidyalaya so to in case of two lower case this string we are we have written here kendriya vidyalaya so that is being converted into that is converted in fact uh, that is converted into lower case and uh, with the help of the two upper case method it is converted into upper case now the last method that we have used is trim method what is the meaning of the term trim or the how or what does the trim method do actually it eliminates the leading as well as the trailing spaces within a string suppose we rerun the program and uh, we intentionally have written here 
and we are simply writing for simplicity purpose we are writing only k v s only k v s and three more characters one two three okay and in the second part we are writing k v k v s or chandigarh region chandigarh region we are writing here okay actually the trim method is applied on uh, the s1 string and in this one we have first three characters are spaces then we have kvs and again the three spaces if we use this method c the total length comes out to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 3 for uh, three spaces then kvs 6 plus uh, three more spaces means nine total length is nine what if we after applying the kvs this uh, trim method on the first string we find that only kvs the leading as well as the trailing spaces are eliminated leading as well as trailing spaces are eliminated so these methods that is uh, that is the concat method is used to concate the second string with the first string the length method is used to find out the length of its given string substring method there are two forms of the substring method we can pass single argument as well as the two arguments to the substring method and it is used to find out a string within the given string uh, given the within the given string and we have two lower case methods two upper case methods and these methods are used to convert uh, the string into the lower case and the upper case respectively and finally we have the trim method and the trim method is used to eliminate the leading as well as the trailing spaces of a string these methods uh, are very useful while manipulation of the string is taking place these are very handy so the students uh, must uh, explore some more examples to use these library methods hope this video lesson helps in understanding the commonly used libraries library methods which are the part of 12th ip curriculum thank you